Hey guys, so today I am here with my March favorites and before I get started with probably one of the longest favorites I've ever had, I just want to quickly apologize because I know I'm in a new location. I haven't really been switching out my location often just because I like the like the bed area, like I like the way it's been, but I am downstairs in the kitchen right now and it might be a little bit echoey and definitely like the lighting's a little bit off just because I don't really know how to situate this stuff yet. But, um, so yeah, I just wanted to apologize. Brian recently got his Xbox One, so he refused to leave the room. So I had to kind of adjust. And so I'm down here in the kitchen, on the kitchen floor, uh, doing my favorites for you all. So like I said, I do have quite a bit of favorites this month, mostly beauty, which is crazy. I usually kind of go hard on the random favorites. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with my beauty favorites then. But my first makeup favorite is something that I never thought would be a favorite of mine. I Let's see. So it's a BB cream. I'll just say what it is first. It's the Olay Fresh Effects BB cream. I usually hate BB and CC creams just because of the simple fact that I prefer like a medium to full coverage foundation. And the only time I would really ever wear a BB cream or just moisturizer is when I was going to like the beach or the pool because I still want like a little bit of coverage, but it also has that like added uh, sunscreen and things like that. So I saw this and I pulled it out because I wanted to use a BB cream because my skin was clearing up and I wanted to kind of see like what a lighter coverage would look like and I really like this. This is awesome. This is amazing coverage as far as a BB cream goes. Like it's actually like almost light to full or light to full. It's almost light to medium coverage. Um, I like that it has like it has a certain skin like tone to it like it's fair to light because a lot of BB creams are just one shade and that really doesn't work for me. I'm really fair so the one shade is usually a little bit darker. Um, and this also smells really good. Like it smells, it smells really good. Like it has a really good smell to it. But I use this with my beauty blender and I really like the look that it gives me, especially because my skin, like I said, has been clearing up. So using this is a lot nicer on my skin than like a medium coverage foundation. So this is definitely a favorite this month. My next favorite kind of goes in line with the whole face makeup, and it is a concealer. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I actually haven't heard a lot of people talk about this on YouTube, so when I bought it, I was like, okay, I'm going to try this. No one's talked about this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to be the first person to talk about it, uh, but I did see somebody make a video about it the other day. I was kind of hurt. But yeah, so it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I originally bought this for under eye concealing, but I really just have been using it for everything because it's amazing. It's I'm in the shade number. 15 fair and I love it. It's a really really nice coverage. I really want to say it's comparable to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I just I really like it. I like the applicator. I just everything about it's super nice. It's creamy. It's got really good coverage and it's my perfect shade so I love it. My next favorite is a mascara favorite and if you guys have been watching my tutorials I think this is like the only mascara I've been using in like all of my tutorials for the past few months and that is the Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mascara. I got this as gratis when I worked at Sephora. I originally got this and I was like, eh, like, no, like, I just didn't really think anything of it. Like, I never really used to think anything, honestly, of Clinique, but, um, one of my coworkers told me I should definitely try it because they noticed that my mascara was like flaking. They're like, try Clinique. I was like, okay. So I tried it and I honestly, I'm in love with it. I'm surprised I haven't really talked about it any sooner. It's amazing. Like it makes my lashes super long. It like completely like, not, how do I say this? It like completely separates them. It makes them really, really long. And I just, oh, I love this mascara so much. Like, I'm so surprised I overlooked it. I mean, it's really easy, honestly, to overlook. But it's just a really great mascara. If you're looking for a new high-end mascara, I definitely recommend this one. It's, you'll be surprised. It's amazing. And my last makeup favorite for March is oh, a palette that I left behind when I moved to California, I left it at my parents' house, and I was so upset that I was without this palette for a year, you guys. I was so hurt because I love this palette so much. It is the original Urban Decay Naked palette. I, I love this palette, you guys. It's just, it's so beautiful, and then I went to go visit my parents oh, like a month or so ago, and I immediately grabbed this because I knew I hadn't used it in a year and I wanted to use it, and I honestly haven't stopped using it. It's the most beautiful palette, honestly. Like, the naked palettes are my favorite, to be honest. So, I just love it. I was so happy I got to use this again. Um, I use pretty much every color. Yeah, I use pretty much every color in this palette, and I love it so much. So if you don't have the original Naked palette, I definitely suggest it. I'm sure a lot of people probably do by now because there's 
free out. So yeah, I love this palette. My next two beauty favorites are hair favorites. The first is a shampoo. This is the Ion Color Solution uh, Cool Blonde Shampoo. I got this when I dyed or bleached my hair. Really, I didn't dye it. I bleached it. Um, when I bleached my hair, I got this because I wanted to help get rid of the orangey, kind of brassy tones, which this definitely did help. Um, my hair is kind of brown, like it looks brown right here. The top's super light, and then like the underneath's really light, but like right here is like really brown. I kind of need to bleach it again, but I'm not going to be doing that for a while just because I really did just, just do it. Like I don't want to like damage my hair. But I got this because I wanted to help kind of cancel out the tones, and this is supposed to help with white, silver, and blonde hair, which I want to have more platinum white hair. So I got this, and I really like this. I don't like it just for the, or I do like it for the fact that it gets rid of the brassy tones, but honestly, I like the way this makes my hair feel. I have never had a shampoo make my hair feel soft. Is that weird? Like, all the shampoos have just kind of, like, really just cleaned your hair out and everything, and then the conditioner was what I would put in to make it soft. But this made my hair really, really soft, and I really like it. So this is definitely a favorite of mine this month. And my second hair favorite this month, oh, I love this stuff. This is the Agave Oil Treatment. You can get this at Sephora. Um, it's basically just the Agave Oil for your hair. It's really oily, so I'm going to sit it down. But, um, super oily. But I love to use this on second or third day hair because I don't know about you guys, but, like, the bottoms of my hair get, like, so frizzy and just... Ugh, they're just not pretty and I just like the whole sleek straight look so what I do on like second or third day hair is I take like the tiniest bit I don't even take like a drop from the dropper I like wipe the dropper on my fingers I rub it together and then I rub it in my hair and then I brush it through and my hair has never looked softer never looked more silky like this stuff is friggin awesome like I love this stuff if you have a spore near you go in and ask for a sample because this stuff is amazing I highly recommend it my hair looks so perfect on like the second day. Like I, I love it. So that stuff is amazing. I love it. All right, and then last, I know I told you guys I had a lot of favorites. I have two skincare favorites. Um, basically, one was a favorite and then I used them in conjunction and they just became this like epitome of awesome. But my first favorite is the Murad Clarifying Cleanser. This is just kind of like a small size. I love this stuff. My skin, this, this is the reason my skin has been clearing up so much. This is basically meant for acne. It has 1.5% salicylic acid. It's amazing as far as cleansers go. It completely cleans my face. It's cleared my skin up and I really, I really don't want to use any other cleanser. I have so many other cleansers and I just, I want to go back and repurchase this because I love this so much. I, it cleared my skin up, that's all I can say. And the good thing about Murad is that like, it's a high-end skincare brand, but it's actually pretty affordable. I want to say this is like $20, 20 or $30. And I just, that's why I like Murad so much. So I really like this stuff. And then this was working great for me, but then I started using this with it and my skin was like, oh, ah. this is the Nuganic Customized Pore Control Essence. I got this in my Lucky Box from Mimi Box. I love this stuff. This is completely clear up my skin again. It has like something in it that's supposed to help. It doesn't say the ingredients on here, but it has some sort of like, I think willow bark or something in it that really just helps clear out your skin. So using these two together, I've just been so happy, honestly, with my skin, which has led to me using the BB cream. So honestly, I'm happy. I'm very happy with the way my skin has looked. So that is it for my beauty favorites. I know this video is long. I'm sorry. And then I have one random favorite for you guys and oh, it is food. I okay. I'm, a, I'm an eater, you guys. I eat a lot of food. So my, my random favorite this month is the Easter egg brownies. These are basically, if you have cosmic brownies, these are just like the frosted ones. These are amazing. The Easter egg brownies, I've gone through three of these. These are empty, by the way. I've gone through three of these so far, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Any of the, like, frosted brownies I like, like, they have these. They have the hearts for Valentine's Day. The Christmas tree ones are superb. Like, I just love these. These are so good. Like, I can eat a whole pack in, like, a day. Like, no worries. Like, I love this stuff. These are so good. So, if you've never tried these, I definitely suggest them. They're $1.75 at the Dollar Tree. So, I like it. Okay, so that is it for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to me if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.